Discussing about Nadim Makarin, CEO of Gojek, who is supporting LGBT. Because of this issue, there are a lot of pros and cons affecting the company and Nadim Makarin himself. Starting from Yasmin. Hey, did you see the news? What do you think about the issue regarding LGBT supporter from Gojek company? I think it's silly that people from Indonesia started to uninstall Gojek application from their phone just because the CEO, CEO support LGBT. I agree, but why we should talk about this case? I think this is a serious issue because most people in Indonesia are still close-minded and can respect other people's opinion. By looking at this case, we can learn more about the behavior that the Indonesian has. Well, in my opinion, LGBT is not an image that we should look up to. Yes, I'm not saying that we have to make it our own model, but we shouldn't bring down the people that have different opinion from us. And we don't have to stop using Gojek app just because the, their CEO is supporting something that we don't believe. How about the Indonesian that spread had comments about uninstalling Gojek in social media platforms? Uh, from you, Fadlan. Hmm, while Indonesians are spreading hate using hashtag uninstall Gojek on Twitter, Instagram, and other social media, they should have realized that CEO of those platforms are are using to supporting the LGBT. But they should have respect other people's opinion and try to think with an open minded. Yes, if they are going to uninstall Gojek for that reason, they should also install their social media application they are using or even throw out their phones. I agree, but not all Indonesians spread hate, hate comments about this topic, including me. Yes, we are more concerned about how we should accept this situation because I'm not going to support something related to LGBT. We all know that Indonesia has very strict norms and values, especially towards those who forbidden the religion. Most Indonesians are very religious, which then affect the social norms in Indonesia. Well, do whatever you want, but if you are in need of using OJEK, don't blame it all on LGBT. It is a person's belief, just like how you believe and follow your own country norms and values. Think about the employees and the drivers who does not support LGBT or even some of them doesn't know anything about it. It is hard to accept someone else's belief that crosses the norms, but it shouldn't have to bother you and other Indonesian at all. Yes, even if the CEO of the Gojek company supports LGBT, it would not change a thing about the application and the service you will the service you will receive salah. <laughs> uh, okay, I agree. It is true it will not change a thing about the service that I will receive. Well then, time for conclusion. Do you all agree on the same thing? Hmm. The CEO should have think about our belief and how it will affect uh, his company by his belief. And we should also have to see, to see the bigger picture too and think about what, what will happen in the future. We are the ones who, who uses the application and it is also our choice if you want to delete it or keep it. Uh, and we don't have to spread head comments around our social media too. Just accept it and let go. Do you guys agree? Yes! yes. Are there any questions? No. 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 I'm good. All clear, thank you. But if you are in need, <laughs> well, do whatever you want. But if you are in need of the app Gojek, well, then time for conclusion. Do you all do you all? <laughs> do you all? Hmm. The CEO should have think about our belief and how how. <laughs> <laughs>